Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today we're going to cover Solicitatio for the week. So she just dropped um, yesterday. And I'm going to discuss with you guys what lineup I brought, what alternative lineups you actually can consider, and also their gear. So to start off, there are actually three main heroes or units that you need to bring. First and foremost, you need to bring Gabriel... So Gabriel is going to be here. So Gabriel's gear is going to be more or less... The recommended gear is sh should be um, all HP. But using evasion and HP set is actually good for him as well. I used him and his survivable as well. Next would be Jushion. Jushion, you need to equip him with CDR gears. Okay, so change it up for PvE or for Danger Close. It needs to be with CDR. And the last prerequisite would be either um, Arius or you could also have Chinatsu. So Chinatsu, I didn't actually opt for Chinatsu. I actually went with Arius. But actually you could bring two healers to your team. But I actually opted for one it actually worked for me. So let's check out Arius and her gear. So for Arius, I already have her. I forgot. I already have her at level 110. She also has CDR gear. If you want, if you prefer Chinatsu, then also CDR gear. Okay. Those, so these are basically the three that uh, must haves for you. The other one that I brought is actually going to be Rifleman, Admin Rifleman. Admin Rifleman is going to be only attack speed, so full attack speed. Then you have Gayun. So most of you guys in PvP have her at um, at CDR, but for this one, you're going to have her at attack speed. Next would be Hilde. So Hilde is actually a surprise pick that I had to to try out. Um, kind of not, kind of good as well because she provides additional attack percentage to all counters and counter crit as well so for hilde um preferably this is going to be all um attack gear i actually used attack gear when i used her i actually brought her back here so this is just extra gear that i have but for hilde um it's it's going to be all attack gear next would be Ayami Sanai, which is going to be Ayami is actually a sniper, which 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 uh, specializes in in siege. Uh, where is she? Okay, here she is. So also preferably equip her with uh, what they call it with CDR. She's actually very squishy. She's usually one of the first to die. Um, that is why she needs to you know she needs to crank up her skills her special skill in her ultimate skill quickly that is why i equipped her with cdr gear and the last on this list of eight is going to be awakened seo yun but actually this oh, oh sorry um cdr for her as well the best actually the best um awakened unit to bring is going to be awakened yumina um i'm gonna do another video and try to try to do it with awakened yumina but for this one i actually brought um seo yun okay so as you can see those are my line my lineups the other alternatives that you can bring if you don't want to bring hilde you could bring ainz's way admin sword fighter and also jane doe those are the, the ones that you can substitute and also, if you don't want to bring Han, uh, Hayami, um, you could actually bring Shinatsu, an additional healer. Um, so you, you, you could have two healers and also Shinja. But based on this type of um, this type of um, stage for Solicitatio, um, you won't really need another healer. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at Solicitatio's uh, debuffs. So basically for this reincarnation of Solicitatio, she is actually giving out an air unit speed minus 75%. Um, it's not really applicable. Um, even if you, I think you, you, you bring an air unit, um, there, 
they they aren't going to be deployed that far so more or less this buff is actually safe more or less for everyone so but i'm actually deploying all ground units for this match you will have a buff for alt squad units attack plus 100 hp and skill haste plus 50 so let's take a look at the alt squad just in case you want to use some of those units okay so what we have here for the alt squad um probably you're gonna you can actually use seo yun for this boss really depend up, up to you but for me the, the reason why i didn't bring her is is it because i'm going to use her in the other um danger close boss so that is why i didn't opt for her here but you have options at this point okay so as you can see here guys this is actually the team that i was able to deploy so the ship that i used is lake superior and the operator is actually just an additional buff um for this one and more or less the deployment cycle would be um uh gabriel first then it's going to be jushion then the next preferably would be a healer so more or less you have to move arius here either you deploy seoyun or you deploy arius first okay so more or less let's I'll, I'll take you guys to the battle that i had let's discuss that while we break down the individual moments in that battle that i had okay guys as you can see here same units that i mentioned a while ago and let's check it out on how i did in this battle in terms of deployment we will have to probably stick to a certain deployment order at the start so deploy gabriel here at the edge of where he can be deployed so that he can push back or not let the boss go, th go through then next would be seoyu and then next would be arius the, the next actually summons that uh, would come after the first three would be dependent up to you as you can see here um units are very survivable um it's gonna take a while for for Aris to die out even though there's no um other healer here um she can actually still survive and more or less the, your only problem in actually in this boss is actually dealing a lot of damage that is why i highly recommend yumina or awakened yumina you replace her with um awakened uh, you replace awakened seoyun say say you say yun with awakened yumina to inflict more damage with the boss so that is actually what is going to be a challenge for you guys especially if you don't have her um as i was bringing awakened see you in here the damage apparently wasn't enough because you have to deal a lot of damage from the start um especially while she's not moving forward so as you can see here um um, I haven't really summoned anybody and most of them have survived and again it's pretty much very maintenance so I just I just actually summoned Aryo so it's a well oil cycle already you will have very much a lot of deployment um, currency for you to deploy your healer um, and cycle them in a regular basis so as we break through the first threshold here so this is going there are actually various um dps checks especially after each threshold so you will have three thresholds as you can see here in her health bar so again at this point you will already have a lot of spare deployment costs to redeploy units because definitely she will be taking care of some of your units so again at this point i'm at 73 but it's really really highly advisable that you deal as much damage um probably reach around eight thousand. um i'm gonna do a redo of this um what do you call this of this stage using awakened seo yun probably by the weekend um uh, or probably yeah probably by, by the weekend um because again um for me this stage is really hard to crack especially if you don't have a lot of dps okay so I'm going to be, I think I'm going to stay up to 7, 8 for this one. Yes, yeah, 7, 8. And that is it for this run. 
So as you can see, guys, our remaining HP is going to be 43%. And more or less, that is it for Solicitasio. So again, you're not really required to finish off the boss. It would be good that you do. But again, there are some units, guys, that you don't really have. And deal as much damage as possible. Gabriel, Jushun, and a healer is, is a must. The rest, you can actually figure out for yourself on what are you going to add or who are you going to add okay guys so hopefully this helped you out and for those who have stuck this far in this video please do subscribe because this helps my channel a lot also don't forget to click that bell icon and also don't forget to like this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here